I really didn't think I'd be making another Madden 20 video for the rest of the year, but I woke up feeling dangerous. That's right, I shaved my entire beard just to record that four second intro. But you know, it will be fun, this trial series, mate. If this gets a lot of support, this will become the third series on the channel. Let me give you a rundown. We're going to be doing a fantasy draft, so our team will be randomized. We might throw in some relocation as well, why not? And basically, we're going to have three, maybe four years to rebuild them. We'll see how much time these take to make. Now, how do you actually make a fantasy draft? That, well, that's not how you do it, is it? The reason I enjoy the offensive coordinated dynasty so much is because of the randomness that comes into play when you leave the squad. That randomness makes it fun, right? What are gonna be our strengths and weaknesses? You could do one of these a hundred times and every single time your team will be different. All right, so first and foremost, ooh, pretty decent squad. 80, 80, 81. Nice all around. Computer did us a favor there. Ooh. Jacoby Brissett. Well, our defense has to be fire then, bro. Curtis Samuel, Nelson Aguilar. At least we got Josh Jacobs, but that's a pretty solid pickup. I mean, I will take that any day of the week. Okay, we got Ed Oliver. Richard Sherman is on the squad. TJ Watt, Danny Trevathan. Ooh, I like this. We got Vic Beasley as well, who... We could probably trade for another first round pick or something like that. Nikhil is all the way down in fifth, man. I would rather him start over Aguilar, though. I'm, I'm just saying. Anyway, I don't want to make too many trades off the rip because that kind of takes away from the fun of it. Let's go simulate and we'll see how the team does. You got to keep in mind as well that injuries are off. Depth isn't necessarily what we're after. It's just more so about raw talent in those spots, you know? We already have a good tight end, but DT, I'm all about it. Ronell Spikes. Oh, I could go for some bacon right now. You're on the board. I mean, we need everything, right? <laughs> Especially offensive linemen, right? Damn, Devon Sanders looks like a monster, though. Charlie Booth is here. Oh, just far out. We also probably need to take a quarterback, but there's not that many. You know what I mean? Like, Charlie Booth. Charlie Booth, the only one in the first round. So we are currently on a 4-4 four four record halfway through the season. Floyd Blake was recognized today as not just the best receiver in college football, the best player overall, yada, yada, yada. He's a cornerback. He's not a wide receiver at all, mate. He doesn't even look that great either, if I'm being completely honest. Why is Quinton Nelson not starting? The team genuinely didn't start Quinton Nelson this whole time. Oh, that is unbelievable. Well... Welcome to the squad, mate. Better late than never, right? That's the thing I want to point out as well. I would go and look at other teams before we start simulating, but trial episode. Remember, if we get some good likes on it, then, you know, next episode will be a full-on thing. So we end up on a 9-7 and seven record. I think we just don't make the playoffs at all, eh? That kind of sucks. So Drew Brees is going to win the MVP on the Houston Texans. By the way, I apologize that some of the players still aren't out. So the file share is currently down and has been down for like a month. And uh, EA doesn't want to fix it. Well, they haven't fixed it. Josh Allen, Lamar Jackson goes to the division rival Steelers. Baker Mayfield on the Bears. To be fair, we have a really solid squad, but we're kind of like an up-and-coming squad, you know? Yeah, so there's not a lot in free agency at all, eh? Oh, uh, we have Derek Barnett, so we don't really need a right end. I mean, I'll take a kicker, because we kind of need a kicker, but... Ah, uh, Terrell Edmonds, little snake in the grass, hey? Doesn't want to join the squad, at least we got the kicker. I didn't really do a lot of scouting, I kind of left that up to the computer, but... If there's somebody here I absolutely have to get, then I'm going to trade up. I really, really like Devon Sanders. We also have this cornerback in the second round that is a early first round talent. So Carlos is my main target right now. I don't think I will trade up. I don't think it's necessary. There's some players I would definitely prefer to have, but to give up something in exchange for that when we already have two first round picks seems a little bit silly. They took our DT. At least we have this guy, Ryan Murrah. He's a mid first rounder. Ah. He's exactly the same as Jacoby. Watch, now that we're picking at 29th, I guarantee you that cornerback is gone as well. Oh, man, I kind of don't want to play anymore. <laughs> Let's take Ladarius Dunbar, right tackle. He's a 77 overall, ranked third in true talent. Man, we got one of the best O-lines in the entire NFL now. 
I think this was a solid draft. We got ourselves a quarterback, two offensive linemen. The computer drafted Charlie Booth. So apart from our center, we legitimately got to have one of the best teams in the NFL, right? Receiving core is a little bit weak as we are going to move Nikhil Harry back up to wide receiver number three. We're going to start Maya over Brissett because that's why we drafted him. Defense is okay. I think we can simply just out-talent other teams. Oh, dude, I didn't look at the stats. I'm so sorry. That's something I consistently forget to do, mate. That's my bad. We are going to give Cordero Patterson a contract only because we run that air raid offense. You know what? Never mind. Yeah, there's a lot of players we got to get back, man. A lot. There we go. That's a lot better. Eight and four record. That's what I'm talking about, man. Ryan Myers seems to be having a good season as well. Oh, we're still behind the 49ers though. All right, we got a strong safety that won the Heisman today. That's fantastic. Uh, we desperately need safety, so that works out really well for us. So apparently this guy who's projected as a second rounder won the Heisman. This guy right here. Can you believe that? They just, they'll give the Heisman to anybody these days, won't they? This is what it all comes down to right here. If we can beat the 49ers, we're ready for prime time. 31 to 21, I will take it. We finally made the playoffs. Before we do anything, before we look at these abilities, because Ryan Meyer is apparently a superstar. Hold on a second. He's an X Factor, the rookie we drafted. I was going to make this the last season, but we might have to go for one more now, mate. That is so sick. I'm so proud of him. Look at the team. Yo, we are so good now. It only took us one year to come into our own. Even this center went up like nine overall, bro. The Atlanta Falcons have Miles Garrett, Tyron Smith, Chris Harris, Denzel Ward. I mean, this is a really solid team in its own bit. But even though it looks like they're a monster team, I, I just don't see them beating us, bro. We're going to win this. I've got faith. I've got faith. Let's go! Now we get to go up against our division rival, San Francisco 49ers, in the divisional round. This game is massive. Before that, though, let's go check out the stats. Ryan Meyer, 3,574 yards. Really, really good rookie season. 35 touchdowns and 4 interceptions. Might be one of the best rookie seasons of all time. Josh Jacobs had 1,400 yards in his own right. Royce Freeman, who... Plays fullback, contributed as well, a lot of touchdowns. We have a lot of power backs. This is only the trial episode, and I already am in love with this team right here. I can't wait to see what kind of weird combos we get in the future. DJ Chark, Curtis Samuel, pretty evenly distributed. Good to see the tight end put in work. Defensively, Danny Trevathan showing he's still got a lot of fire in the tank, mate. 121 tackles, 8 TFLs. Look at that, TJ Watt. Had 12 and a half sacks. What an absolute freak of nature. Richard Sherman had seven picks. We're overpowered. Okay, so our rookie quarterback is fourth on Offensive Player of the Year. That means without a shadow of a doubt, Ryan Meyer going to win Offensive Rookie, mate. You'll love to see it. Oh, man, I've never been so nervous before. We beat him in the regular season, but now that it's the playoffs, watch Madden interfere. Yeah, we lost. We lost by three. Thank you very much, Madden. I appreciate it. I'm not in the mood, Taylor Bennett. Tariq Cohen is there. That's not bad. Chuck Clark. Okay, that is a massive upgrade. And we have a lot of money as well. In fact, I'm going to take Kari Willis because at least we know for a fact we're going to be able to pick him up. So not players that are going to completely revolutionize the team, but we get Brashad Perryman. And we get Willis, Blake Martinez, and Safarian Jenkins rejected us. Thank you very much. We definitely need linebacker. That's one thing I will say. You're a late first rounder, bud. Alexander Douglas? Because all the linebackers are gone, mate. You're a 79 overall ranked number one. Wow. What a pickup, bro. We've got Quinn and Nelson. We've got that other bloody superstar rookie we drafted. Now we've got this bloke. Second rounder, but he's an early first. I like the cut of his jib. Eh, we got some people here and there. I wish we could get a linebacker, but our draft pick just is not early enough to get somebody solid. We could also get Teague. We have these two blokes right here. This guy's a third round projected early first, but I think the safest bet is Terrell Samuel. 76 overall, ranked six in true talent. Not bad. 
Ah, oh, this strong safety didn't go to the draft. All right, what didn't go to the combine. 71. I mean, it's not, you're not going to start, but I appreciate you coming out. So look at the offense. Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, it's pretty good. I kind of feel like we took a step back from last year. At the end of the day, we still have a quarterback. That is an X factor. We have some really solid tight ends. Our offensive line finally is solid the entire way through. Now we've got Willis up at strong safety. That's going to boost us up a lot. Unfortunately, for some reason, we got this linebacker who's 60 overall. I can't get a linebacker, man. I tried. I really did. I even bit the bullet and tried to trade away Curtis Samuel, somebody I really didn't want to get rid of, but I still can't get anybody. If we can hit like two, three, maybe thousand likes, I will bring this series to the channel. Depends on the support it gets. I think it's a lot of fun, but you know, maybe you guys don't think that. Cheers. Let's see if we can get to the, uh, the Super Bowl. Come on. What the? Oh my, we went seven and nine. Bro, our division is so strong. We were so, like, good. And then this season, we just flopped seven and nine record. I mean, we've got an 89 offense. I mean, you know what I mean? It's a shame, but apparently this team was not good enough to make it to the Super Bowl or even the playoffs. All right, fellas, well, that's going to wrap up the very first trial episode for the Fantasy Draft Rebuild. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. I had a lot of fun. This kind of in some ways reminds me of the coordinator dynasty just because you don't know what you're going to get and you kind of got to make the best of a bad situation and try and improve that if you like it let's aim for something crazy man let's try and get a lot of likes on this video so that way i know that you guys want to see more of this made it this far you are the real mvp hope the rest of your day's awesome stay safe and from me personally i'm out peace Pick me, I'ma let it run into the bag like I'm so athletic. I've been up since six, making hits like tennis. I've been on fire, but just need my credit. Wanna go far, need to change my settings. Reaching for the stars, so my feet touch heaven. Heaven, heaven.